Somebody said, you and Kennedy are a thing now. I mean, you and BJ Groovy had sex. Someone said you're a low-key bisexual. Well, since the cat's out the bag. Ice me out. Ice me out. Ice me out. Nigga, ice me out. What is up, Nerdy Gang? Welcome back to my channel, guys. Today, I am going to be finally doing the assumption video that I've been saying I'm gonna do, but I was like, okay, why not just wait and get like more assumptions? So basically, I posted on my Instagram and I told you guys to go ahead and send me um, assumptions basically that you have of me. I haven't even looked at them. I just went ahead and like screenshotted them. So like, because uh, I know they post one that for 24 hours. So basically, yeah, I'm gonna be addressing the assumptions. So I'm kind of nervous because like, I'm not gonna say like the really wild ones because I know some of y'all just be bored and just saying stuff. So some of them, if your assumption isn't in this video, then it's probably because it was um, inappropriate or like uncalled for, just not an assumption. Cause a lot of people are just like, you're pretty, like thank you, but this is an assumption video. So yeah, of course, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit the um, like button and I'm gonna give y'all a second to hit the subscribe button. Okay, bet. so now that you're subscribed um, and you got your post notifications on, right? Then you guys are gonna see every video that I upload from now on, but let's go ahead and get into this assumption video. So, someone said, I thought you already moved to Houston. I didn't move to Houston yet. Um, originally, when I went down to Houston, it was supposed to be just to uh, collab with um, Kennedy and Essie, Ashley, Chelsea, and all of them that were down there. And then me and Kennedy like instantly clicked and we became like really close friends. So I never left and now I really like in Houston. So I'm currently about to sign a lease. Hopefully next month, um, I have a person that I'm working with to get me an apartment. I don't want to just like move in any apartment because this is going to be like basically the first apartment I'm living in while I'm like during my career. So like, I want to make sure I like it. You know, I don't want to just buy any apartment. You're still a virgin. I'm not. I have a How I Lost My Virginity uh, story. If you guys haven't checked it out, go check it out. It's about 10 million views. Someone said you secretly have two kids. What? <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about, man? Um, no, I, I don't. <laughs> uh, definitely not. Someone said that you curve anyone who's not light skin. I remember saying a while back that my type was light skin, but at that time, I had never been with a dark skinned man. Now, if you were to ask me what my preference was, it's dark skin men. Cream? No, thank you. I take it black. Like my man. But again, I don't discriminate. I don't care if you're white. I don't care if you're light skin. I don't care if you're black. I don't care. You think DDG is cute. Uh, DDG is cute. Like, I, I think I said it in one of my videos too. Like, he got way cuter. Like, um, I don't know if y'all know. I'm sure y'all do. Me and DDG used to go to school together. It was only for like, I don't even know if we went together for a year before you went. It might have just been a semester when he dropped out. So yeah, but no, DDG is he's good looking. You and Kennedy have kissed before. Um No. Me and Kennedy have never kissed. You're a chill ass B word. You can be loyal, but when you on your ho shit, you on your ho shit. Ah. I wouldn't say ho shit, but if I'm single, baby boy, I'm single. You're not my boyfriend. So I wouldn't call it ho shit, but if I'm single, I'm single, period. You're a very organized and clean person. You know, I'm not. Like, I just feel like I just have so much stuff. And I just need enough. I don't know if it's because I've never had enough room. Hopefully in my new apartment, like, it's just me and I'll have enough room, but I'm not clean. I have my moments where I'm like, I can't do this anymore. I need to clean up. But as far as being like super clean, I'm not. People say you're actually nice and normal compared to your status on Instagram or on YouTube, which is true. I'm actually, I try to like portray my personality on camera. I guess I just don't do a good idea. Good idea. I guess I just don't do a very good job, but I'm actually like really weird. And I guess I don't think you guys are ever gonna actually see how weird I am. But I'm actually weird as hell. So like I'm nothing like I am on Instagram. Like that's who y'all love, but I feel like y'all would love who I actually am. And I feel like if I started vlogging and like got more comfortable vlogging, y'all could like see that. 
you're not selfish, but you know what self-love really means. You know, yes, I do think this because I've always said personally that I feel like people think, people around me and for myself think that I'm a selfish person and person, no. And I'm not selfish. I just, you know, I know what I deserve and like I know what it takes to get there and like I'm always gonna put myself first, especially if it's something like I've been working hard towards and it's between, you know, putting myself first or like somebody else, it's gonna be me, always. It's always, I'm always gonna pick myself, period. There is no if, and, or buts. And I'm also an Aquarius, so you love city girls, which probably means you're a ratchet. I'm not ratchet, but city girls, period. Free JT. But no, like honestly, I'm probably like the biggest city girl fan out here. Real ass bitch, give a fuck about a nigga. Big Birkin bag, whole five, six figures. Stripes on my ass, so he call his pussy tigger. Fucking on his scamming ass, rich ass nigga. Period. Um, someone said you're low key bisexual. Well, since the cat's out the bag. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not bisexual. Um, Y'all might see me and Kenny post a little pic or whatever, but maybe I'll make a tweet. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. You're a diva. I am. I'm a very big diva. It is literally my way or the motherfucking highway because, especially if I think I'm right, I'm right, period. Period. Someone said you and Kennedy are a thing now. I mean, no, we're not. We're not at all. Like, I couldn't even look at Kennedy like that. That's like my best friend. No, that would like ruin everything. Definitely not. You'd be crazy. Um, I think that I have my moments. I feel like I really do have mixed personalities. Sometimes I'm like a chill ass girl, and then so oh my words, crazy. No. Sometimes you know, like I'm super chill, and then I have my moments where like. I turn up, but like, I don't think I'm crazy. I think that I just, I'm passionate about things. You look like someone who can't hold their liquor. False. I can actually hold my liquor very well. I never throw up. And if I do throw up, take me the hell home because I'm donezo. You know, some people be throwing up and be going on about their night. No, the only time I throw up is like when I need to like go home, like I've, I've overdone it. You're mixed black and white. I am mixed with black and white. A lot of you guys ask me, um, if I'm anything else, and I'm not, I'm just literally just black and white. Um, Kennedy Ray is your best friend. Till the wheels fall off. Period. Period. You beat bitches up on a daily basis. I've actually never been in a fight. I honestly think fighting is ratchet. I mean, I might have said before, like, bitch, I'll beat your ass. Like, you know, I might have pressed a bit. Do you wanna fight? Do you wanna fight? Do you wanna fight? But I'm not fighting. Period. I'm about to get no. If a bitch ever tried to fight me, like, how old are we? And I also feel like I'm too old to fight. I'm 21. Bitch is talking about fight. No. You like to play with multiple niggas and never commit to any of them relationship wise. That's false. Um, the longest I've ever been single was a couple months. I was in a relationship for four years. I got out of a relationship for a year. Got into one for like three months, was out of that for like four months. And then I got into a relationship like last summer and I recently just stopped like messing with them. So I've actually been in a, I'm always been in a relationship, never really single. Someone said you're only into black dudes. That's not true. I like all men. You're one of those females who want to get close before anything and like get comfortable. And that's true. Like I wear my heart on my sleeve. So like once I get close to somebody, I don't know. And I also feel like that might go back to my daddy issues, but you know, that's a whole different story. We're not about to get back into that. But you know, once I get close to somebody, like I just like being close to people. I don't know. And it's very easy to get close to me. I'm a very open person. I'm not like standoffish. You have a boyfriend? I don't. You're the same energy off camera. Honestly, I think my energy off camera is probably better. Like I'm saying, like if y'all get to, if we do a meet and greet or y'all get to meet me in person, like y'all see what I'm talking about. I'm actually like cool as hell. Stuck up and conceited. I'm definitely not stuck up and conceited. I understand how I may come off as that, but I'm not at all. I mean, I think very highly of myself, but stuck up, 
Definitely not. Conceited? No. But I can see where y'all would think that. You let any nigga hit. I'm not even getting into that. You have high standards in almost everything. I do. I feel like you should have like the utmost standards. And if someone's not treating you right or something isn't what you want it to be, work towards that. Get a new person, period. You only live once. You and BJ Groovy had sex. We did a video together. No, we did not have sex. You and RG fucked. No. I was I heard you're pregnant? Okay, no, definitely not. This person said you are for positive vibes only, but if someone try it, they can get it. That's true. Like, I feel like I'm such a nice person, especially like once you get to know me, but like once you f up, you f up. Like I don't fuck with you, period. I'm petty as hell. Someone said you, you low key wanted BJ Groovy. I didn't, but like looking back at those videos, I was lit so I can understand why y'all would have thought that. Because I was looking, I was looking some type of way, but no. I assume that you're a crybaby in a relationship. True, very true. You seem like you're a very genuine, reliable person. Overall, your personality seems fire. Thank you. I try to portray that to y'all so y'all can see that. And I really am. I try to, I, literally, I will give the person I love my last dollar. And that's just how I am. You're confident and don't let any hate, to, hate get to you. This is so true, and I think it bothers people how unbothered I be. Like, I don't care what's going on in my life. If you don't like me, cool. If you got something to say about me, cool. Like, it don't matter what you do. Nine times out of 10, you're not gonna get a response from me because I already know what you want. You want a response, so sorry. Sounds like, honestly, if you don't like me, like, that's a personal issue. I'm sleeping the exact same at night. I assume you get mistaken as rude or stuck up. I do. Humble as fuck. Very true. I come from humble beginnings, so it would be, I feel like, disrespectful to my family to ever not be humble. Especially my mom. Am I part Italian? No. I wish. No, no, not I wish, but I would love to be a part of like more um, ethnicities. I think that's cool. Cultures. I love everybody's culture. A lot of niggas try to pull you. Yes, it gets overwhelming sometimes. And niggas don't know how to take no for an answer. So yes, and it sucks sometimes. Um, this person says that you're someone who loves to go out and have fun. And this is true. You only live once. So, you know, live your best life. That's my last question. Um, you were a bad child growing up. No, I think that I'm more of a bad child now than I was growing up. Growing up, I was in sports and I just listened to my mother. I think like I didn't turn into a bad child or a wild child. My mom thinks I'm her wild child. So I don't think I really turned into a wild child until I got to college. But I don't even think I'm wild. I think that I'm just like impulsive. And I'm my mom's only kid that's like like this, so she like freaks out. But I'm like, if I think I'm gonna do something, like I'm gonna do it, so. Basically, yeah. So you guys, that is all the assumptions for this video. If you guys like this video and you have more video ideas, make sure you guys follow my Instagram so you guys can DM me them. I usually post a lot of polls there for you guys to see. And of course, if you're new to my channel, like and subscribe. Turn my post notifications on so y'all can see when I post. And we'll be back with more videos. We out.